Hello, this is a preview of our 20th and 21st of June antique and picture sale. It's a two-day sale, it's on view on the website now. Masses of things to have a look through. Again, there's lots of interesting things that are worth pointing out. So we'll have a quick run around the room. We're still setting up at the moment, so it's not quite ready, but lots of things worth looking at. So we've got this pair of um, lamps to start with. Look at these carved wood, carved and painted gilt wood lamps. I don't think they're that old. They're probably um, sort of mid 20th century, so they're probably 1950s or 60s, but in the style of 18th century um, wooden lamps, but they're magnificent quality things and uh, very fashionable. And I would think a pair of lamps like that should be sort of at least six to 800, could be a thousand or so. But I uh, don't see those very often. Well, I'm gonna show you another pair in a minute. Um, right next to it, we've got this, I've never seen one of these before. It's a, it looks like the top has collapsed, but it's actually what they call a saddle top trunk. So this is an American stagecoach trunk. It would have been on the top of the stagecoach. And obviously you can sit on it. It looks quite comfortable, doesn't it? And I did think it was just a collapsed lid, but you can see on the inside, it has got a proper framework inside there. It's the original material inside. Um, and I'm told that was a Wells Fargo trunk. Estimate on that is sort of three to 400 and it'll be late 19th century, something like that. Um, loads of things on the table here. Again, weapons. And there's a, a Mauser rifle there, but it's deactivated. It's got the deactivation certificate that you have to have to sell these things now. So completely unusable, but it's just a wall ornament. There's lots of bayonets and swords and all sorts here. Got a, a photo of Princess Margaret a beautiful photograph there by Cecil Beaton. And Beaton has signed it and Princess Margaret signed it as well. And it's in her monogram frame. And that's probably um, 150 to 200 pounds. And next to Lord Mountbatten, that's 1960, signed by him as well. And that'll be 100 to 150. It's in his monogram frame as well. We've got a very rare autograph here of Napoleon Bonaparte. That's Napoleon's autograph here, and Marie-Louise, Empress of France. Uh, they're interesting autographs. Um, just come on the table a bit further. A collection of walking sticks, and this one is made of shark's vertebrae with a carved wood duck's head. That's quite nice, isn't it? That should be 100 to 150 pounds, sort of late, well, probably about 1900, I should have the date of that one. This is a rare item that no lady should be without. <laughs> this is a parasol, a prostitute's parasol for protecting yourself on the streets. If you happen to be on the streets. <laughs> um, it's the original silk fabric. If that's of any interest. <laughs> if the idea of a sword inside a parasol hasn't already shocked you enough. But a uh, very rare item that, completely original and three to four hundred pounds at least, I should think, for something like that. Um, let's keep going down here. A couple of nice bits of furniture here. George III Bachelor's Chest of Drawers. I suppose it's a bachelor's one because of its small size, because you only need to fit your, only, your own underwear in there. Um, and a brushing slide here as well. That's a nice original piece of furniture. You can see on here where it's had another set of handles. You can see the little marks on here on the drawer fronts where uh, look inside, yes, you can see inside there as well where it's had another pair of handles and that hole's been plugged in there. So it's not the original handles on there. It's the type that it would have had, but they're not the originals. But apart from that, it's a good colour bachelor's chest. And, Three to five hundred pounds is the estimate, but that could do a bit better. Very nice um, toilet mirror on top as well. And that's about, well, that's 19th century and will be 100 to 150 pounds. This is a Georgian knee hole desk. That's walnut. That's, that's a nice little piece of furniture. A bit smaller for me, that one. This one is an unusual item. That's a cheese coaster. So that's for trundling your cheese up and down the dining table. So that would be for a whole circular truckle of cheese on little brass casters. That's Georgian as well. 
probably 100, 150, 200 pounds maybe. What else have we got here? Um, magnificent um, sea chest here. It weighs a ton. It's completely empty. It's solid oak, I think. It could be teak, actually, this one. It's got a bronze plaque on the lid for G. Sutherland Dodman, who did a vo around the world voyage in 500 days. And this is one of his sea chests that he took on the voyage. This was in the probably 18, 1880s, I think he did the voyage. But uh, that's quite a thing, isn't it? Lots of fittings inside. Probably going to be three or four hundred at least. Difficult thing to value that really, isn't it? Um, another box in front that looks a bit rough. The interesting thing on this one is that it's um, J.E. Wilson, Horsemaster, Pinewood Studios. It's dated 1950. Period of Ben Hur. It might have been used around that time. Uh, we've got nice mirrors down here. That's a magnificent Victorian um, pier glass mirror over there. Probably sort of three to five hundred for that sort of thing. I'll show you here. It's as big as I am, uh, six foot six high. It's a nice quality mirror there. Another pair of these um, lamps. These are much more modern, these are just composition material, but still decorative things. So they should be probably three or four hundred at least for that pair. Um, quite a lot of furniture in this sale. There's a, a ship's binnacle here, which has this domed cover. So it's a 19, probably, well, probably about 1900, I should think, this one. And that's an original one, a fitting from a ship. And it would have had a um, a light fitting inside it originally, but this has been converted to electric now, so that so it it lights up from the inside. So that's quite a nice feature there. Uh, that one's going to be six to eight hundred at least, I should think. Um, lots more furniture across here. Magnificent um, early refectory table here. It's about ten feet long. Seventeenth, um, eighteenth century, but a nice one inch thick plank top on there. Quite hard to find these that are a good usable size and um, that one I should think is well worth a thousand to fifteen hundred. But, uh, have to see what that one makes. Um, we've got ram's horn snuff moulds for, um, for, the, for the dining table there. A pair of these. They're plated mounts on them but they're Victorian. Oh, they magnificent ram's horns on there. So a pair of those are going to be two or three hundred pounds. What else? A pinball machine. Cosmic Gunfight. It's 1980s this one. About 82. Um, and I'm told it works. And that's going to be five or six hundred pounds. A little carriage. And that's, um, I suppose it's the size that would be drawn by either a goat or a dog. But it's, it, I think it's about 1900. It's a magnificent thing, isn't it? Pretty um, buttoned up holstery in there. That's right. Probably going to be five, six, seven hundred pounds, I should think. Nice um, sort of garden feature. And behind you, Will, I'll just get you to have a look at this table. That's just turned up this afternoon and it was literally dragged from a barn in battle. It's Indian, it's what you call Anglo-Indian, so it's made in India, but for the, for the English market. Um, and it's extremely ornate, it's solid, I think this is rosewood, or it could be paduk wood, but it's, it's in the solid, so um, this top is just one piece of rosewood. Uh, the frieze here is carved with cobras, and look at that, it's cross stretcher, it's an amazing piece of furniture. It's really heavy. And very difficult thing to value, but um, it's still in its encrusted form. Uh, we've scraped off some of the bird poo, and <laughs> that's the best we can get it. So it's just right in untouched condition, ready for restoration. We think probably a thousand fifteen hundred for that one, but we'll have to wait and see. Let's have a quick explore down here. All sorts of artwork hanging on the wall. They're just being hung at the moment. So we range from um, urban art, 
portrait of Basque out up there by an artist called D Face. <laughs> probably a two or three hundred pound painting there. These interesting stained glass window designs by an artist called Reginald Hallward. Um, this one in particular is, was designed for um, Chigwell School and it's a stained glass window and I understand they still have this in the, in the school, the, the actual window that this was designed for. And this was in commemoration of 78 boys and one master who lost their lives in the Great War. And uh, that window is designed for, in commemoration of them. So that's quite interesting. All these are original stained glass window designs by the same artist. There's another one down here as well. Quite nice things, all individual. And then we move on to film posters. Raquel Welsh, Fantastic Voyage. It's a great poster, isn't it? With an X-rated one here, Marianne Faithful in Girl on a Motorcycle. That's quite a rare film there. And, and the Beatles, Hard Day Tonight. There we are. And we continue. All sorts in these cabinets here. That's a bronze case clock next to Whitefriars glass. And a handbag here. It's, it's a, just a sculpture. It's not, not actually a handbag. It's by Deborah Francis Bean and it's called Plastic Fantastic. So it's an edition of five. And if you look at her artworks that are for sale at the moment in galleries, you would probably have to pay upwards of £5,000 for, for that. If you wanted one. <laughs> and in the cabinet here, some interesting things here. So this is the first lot in the sale. A pair of these hand-painted plaques. These are absolutely microscopic detail. They're Berlin and there's a sort of Napoleonic War scene here, but all hand painted on porcelain. Those are estimated at three to five hundred. Um, these salts, oh, lovely heavy gauge silver salts, these. Uh, unfortunately, they've been cleaned so heavily over the years that the hallmarks are quite worn. So, very difficult to see who made these. You can't quite see the maker's marks, but they date to George II period. So, uh, they're very early 1700s. And in the next cabinet, got a very good quality reproduction really. So this is sort of early 20th century, 1920s or 30s, walnut cased mantel clock and it chimes and it works three or four hundred pounds. Um, some old interesting things here. It's a Japanese ivory paper knife with um, inset mother of pearl and stone insects. They call these page turners just for turning your uh, the book page over if you don't want to get your hands dirty. And that one's going to be 100, 150 pounds. What else? Oh, a couple of, couple of bits of jewellery we've just dug out here. So it's a Breitling Chronomat men's watch. A smart thing, isn't it? These are a few thousand if you want to buy one of these new. It does need a service. It's not working at the moment. It does need a service, but the estimate is reflected in that, so it's going to be sort of five to eight hundred as an estimate. This is the best piece of jewellery this time. It's nearly a seven carat natural emerald and diamond ring there. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? Natural colour emerald to that as well. That's going to be five or six thousand, I should think, for that. But uh, it's a huge piece of jewellery there. Got diamond rings. Just dug these out of the safe. Let's have a quick look. And there we are. So loads to look at. It's all on the internet now, so please have a look through and see, see what you can find. Viewing is on Monday from 9 till 5, Tuesday from 9 till 7, and the sale is on Wednesday at 10am with viewing from 9 till 10. Uh, so hopefully see you there. Thank you very much.